Jimmy Hete, you know who this is. All right, um, I want to just talk to you a little bit about schizoaffective disorder. Um, I think that um, by now we've learned a lot about the symptoms. Um, we've come to understand that it is a thought disorder. It's a mixture of a thought disorder, schizophrenia and a mixture of a mood disorder, either major depression or bipolar disease or mental illness with major depression and mania or major depression and hypomania. Major depression and mania would be bipolar 1 and major depression and hypomania would be bipolar 2. A lesser form of bipolar but still very serious um, from the perception of public standpoint this is very important because if you have to for whatever reason disclose and at some point you will have to disclose why would you have to disclose you have to disclose um, at times when you're going for professional help when you're trying to get support from family or friends that you may feel comfortable speaking with this is certainly an illness where you cannot um, not reach out for help and this is a this is an illness that you cannot be very proud in uh, meaning that you cannot be afraid to reach out and ask for help when you need it being able to speak out being able to educate yourself about this illness being able to get and find support, being able to navigate the mental health system, in other words, finding a doctor, finding a group, finding a therapist, uh, finding a good pharmacist to help you in the selection along with your doctor and management of your medications, um, a good case manager to help you to access social services, such as federal benefits, housing programs, all of these things, um, learning yourself, learning to manage your illness to find out what things trigger your illness, how it, do you get symptomatic, what causes you to go into a depression, what causes you to go into a manic state, into a hypomanic state, what causes you to become psychotic. Okay, these are things, all these things that I just listed plus more are so very important because they can mean the difference between life and death for you as having one um, that has schizoaffective disorder. When we say um, a thought disorder, basically that's what it is at times with this particular illness as in schizophrenia because it is a subtype of schizophrenia there will be times when your thoughts are not clear or they're not realistic where you cannot tell the difference between reality and fantasy where your senses may seem to betray you where you seem like you're seeing something that's not there or you're also affected in visual perception I know a lot of times for myself, um, I'll see something at a certain angle of distance, but that isn't really where it is. It may be closer to me, or it may be farther, or I cannot get the perception of how something is in relationship to my body. A lot of times I walk into walls. Um, just think of it, this is a, a brain and thought disorder, so if your brain is not functioning properly, then it's going to give you all sorts of symptoms, memory problems, um, where you have problems um, trying to sometimes speak um, and say things in a particular way, say you may have something formulated that you want to say, but it may not come out right. Um, like a lot of times I may speak in reverse or write in reverse or sometimes um, due to the illness and the way that it does and the paranoia that it can bring 
you may become very isolated and you don't want to go around people and you lose your lack of motivation and drive and you don't want to go out of the house and you don't want to go outside and you don't want to go around people and then people begin to talk and whisper and malign you and say that you're lazy, you're shiftless, you're no good, you know, um, you don't want to work, you don't want to go to school or anything like that and you're inside of your head just screaming that you wish that you could do all of these things you know and for some people some symptoms are better than others or worse than others there are people that have schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder that are able to do things that most people can and I think that you should certainly do your best to do whatever it is that you can do but in the midst of that you have to understand and become more familiar with your symptoms again what triggers your symptoms how to manage them and how to be able to just be real with yourself and accept yourself until you learn to do these things it will never it will never ever work for you and that can make the difference between you in a fit of a depressive episode killing yourself or getting so manic or hypomanic that you make a very bad and foolish decision that winds up costing you more than you're able to pay you know and the thing about schizoaffective disorder it is a, as we said a combination of schizophrenia and bipolar but it has two totally different perceptions if you turn on your television at any point for the most part you can turn on a television program that says oh yeah I'm bipolar today I forgot my meds and you get a big ha 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 from the audience because it's been portrayed as something cute, it's a crutch, it's a buzzword um, to relegate bad behavior when somebody's um, not with it or they're out of it or they're a little moody or a little sad or a little, or a little hyper. Oh, um, so and so's hypomanic today, they can't be still, whatever. You say, I have schizophrenia. And it's a whole nother wolf from a whole nother wolf camp. Trust me. People go to shaking. They're in fear. They're in terror. They're thinking you're going to kill them. You're going to do all kind of awful, awful things. And the reality is most people with schizophrenia are not violent. But these are the two different perceptions that are in the media. Bipolar versus schizophrenia and hello if you have schizoaffective disorder you have a combination of the two so you have a lot to deal with especially when it comes time to disclose people say oh what's schizoaffective disorder because a lot of people don't even know what it is so you tell them that you have to explain it and they say you say the bipolar but they go oh okay I understand Ooh, you say schizophrenia people are ready to drop all their bags and run and run so you have to develop a thick skin with this illness um, and be able to educate yourself and, and just stand tall and be proud you know of who you are and learn to accept yourself so that you will be able to live the best life that you can one of the worst things and one of the hardest things in having mental illness is being able to tell yourself the truth that I do have something that is um, wrong with me but the thing of it is who is perfect who has the perfect body the perfect health or whatever you know what I'm saying the brain can get sick the brain can be injured and then because of that it is going to affect every part of your life the same way if you hurt your knee or your back you would have symptoms and problems from that and you would have to accept it and get over it so and try your best to go on with your life so again it is very important to do all that you can within reason and as much as that you can in you to try to be the difference that you want to see in the world and to try to make a difference for yourself so that you can live a better life with schizoaffective disorder and one of the things that I'd like to add um, to this uh, discussion is that this particular illness also is very much misjudged because there are periods when you are appear very normal acting whatever that is um, quote unquote normal buzz phrase and 
periods where you will either be psychotic, meaning it's a little difficult, or very, di or very difficult to tell what is real or what is not at the moment, get confused, forget things, memory problems, as well as be able to communicate and articulate with the outside world because again schizophrenia means to split off from society or reality so many people that have schizoaffective disorder will be isolate will be loners will lose um drive and ability to socialize and that's where going to group and talking to a therapist and a doctor a friend someone that you really trust helps to bring this person around that has this particular illness it's, it's very important to have support friendship uh, peers medical finding things that interest you and a lot of times I say you will be um, called all kind of names lazy shiftless whatever because it appears to them you don't want to do anything you just want to lay around and you know they all day go on your bum but for many people with schizophrenic disorder it just simply isn't true and it's time to really learn to understand more about your illness so that you can accept it so that you can better your life and move on and I think one of the last things I want to say and I hope I didn't say this already is um, to find a relationship with a doctor a nurse pharmacist, therapist people that care people that you can feel a connection with that have good information that are available um, for resources, questions also never take any medication unless you know exactly what you're taking the dosage the amount the name and all of that that's saying for you not to take it but make sure that you're on top of that you are your greatest advocate in your mental health care you are your greatest advocate and if you don't look out for yourself speak up for yourself and be aware of what's going on it's so easy for you to not be here alright so I just wanted to um, say those things and and also as I'm thinking of it um, as it pertains to the periods of normal functioning um, versus symptomatic functioning with schizoaffective disorder generally there are periods where the person is normal acting and periods when they're symptomatic and because of that people like to call you names and get into all that but you just have to be able to say you know this is all I'm going through I'm going to be okay without taking yourself down into the drama of that because it will truly truly come because many people do not understand that um, that to be very much the case in certain families so alright live and love me and say te quiero A lesser form of bipolar but still very serious um, from the perception of public standpoint this is very important because if you have to for whatever reason disclose and at some point you will have to disclose why would you have to disclose you have to disclose um, at times when you're going for professional help when you're trying to get support from family or friends that you may feel comfortable speaking with this is certainly an illness where you cannot um, not reach out for help and this is a this is an illness that you cannot be very proud in uh, meaning that you cannot be afraid to reach out and ask for help when you need it being able to speak out being able to Hey, you know who this is, all right? Um, I want to just talk to you a little bit about schizoaffective disorder. Um, I think that um, by now we've learned a lot about the symptoms. Um, we've come to understand that it is a thought disorder. It's a mixture of a thought disorder, schizophrenia, and a.
mixture of a mood disorder, either major depression or bipolar disease or mental illness with major depression and mania or major depression and hypomania. Major depression and mania would be bipolar 1 and major depression and hypomania would be bipolar 2.